Oh, God. It could be any one of these people. Whoop. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow, that's so cool! Hello, everyone, and welcome to our private island experiments. And today, in Jurassic World Evolution 2 Multi DLC, we're going to be showcasing one of the most highly anticipated creatures. Those are, of course, the Atrociraptors. Better than Indoraptor, and maybe technically better than Blue? because these are proof of concept. So welcome to the Aegean Sea where we have our own little base of operations. And this a little ring is where we're going to find out just, you know, what kind of things a Trociraptor has got going for it. So we'll release one at the start and see how it interacts with some other sort of creatures. Then we'll release the pack and see what they sort of get on with. So first off, uh, how about we release Hmm, maybe not, what you call it, um, ghost, that's right. This one, if I, my brain serves me correctly, is tiger. Very reminiscent of the Lost World uh, color schemes, but oh, I love it. Look at you, I'm sure, yes, People we're gonna get some audio. People often talk about the thrill of the chase, but yes. if you got one of these on your tail, you'll soon become the kill of a chase. This right here is the Atrociraptor, a truly tenacious hunter, and it is simply relentless. At least, that's what I'm told. <laughs> <laughs> Have you not seen the movie? Although its weakness is pipes. So, Atrociraptor, as you can very clearly see, is basically just a raptor. And some of the introductions focus on the feet to show you it is a raptor. Um, but yeah, I think a Trosseraptor is one of those weird raptors where it, literally one bone of it has been found. And they're like, yeah, that's a new species. Cool. <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, it's gonna have its own unique animations or at least I think I have not really seen any of its animations. So we'll see its social as well as at the end, we'll release all of them to see what its full releasing animation looks like too. So before we release any more, how about we see what we've got in here? We have of course an Overraptor. This is of course a new species which will have its own showcase on the channel uh very small look at it it's so cute and now all we need to do is just wait to see if the atrociraptor gets hungry enough to eat the overraptor now i'm assuming it has its own needs it doesn't have to have a laser pointed at something in order for it to satisfy or satiate its hunger and thirst so uh it would be very interesting if it did just sort of automatically die but as you can quite clearly see there it is the drinking animation. Just kind of like what you'd expect from a normal raptor. Here we have the overraptor also running out of the way. And, oh God, yeah, of course. Here we go, oh, yum, 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 yum. Oh, it sort of drags it. Oh, look at it, beautiful. Yum, 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 yum. So, not as kind of brutal as the other ones, but yeah, that was, a, that was a cool animation. Now we get to watch it eat its prey. Yum, 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 yum. At least it was a unique animation. That's what I can say. Pretty cool to see that they gave them their own. Because it would have been very easily for them to just be like, well, it shares the raptor kind of animation set. So why don't we just give it the raptor one? <laughs> and the hunt has started between the Atrociraptor and the Overraptor. Place your bets. Who do you think is going to win? Oh, just picks it up and shakes it. Oh, a little bit of a glitch there. So that's the attacking animation between Overraptor and Atrociraptor. I think it's about time we released another one into the mix. Yes, it's the one that is kind of like different from the others, a bit like Blue was from the rest, that they were kind of all a bit different. Ghost. All right, I was just curious to see, you know, what an animation would be like with something like that. But how about we try the smallest of the food chains? The little Comsognathus, which are probably gonna stand little to no chance of an Overraptor, didn't they? Well, there's nothing else in here, so they may as well just attack each other. And that's precisely what they're doing. Not exactly too sure why they're doing it, but you know, another look at the animations as well. Now, that's right, Slash. I think out of these two, Tiger's my favorite still. This should be very interesting. Oh God, the animation barely lining up here. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Yeah. I, it's been ages since I've seen an animation where, like, a raptor has killed a comes like this. So I think, I mean, what more can you do, really, I suppose? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I think it's about time we made the third one. I think this one's Panthera. Again, 
They're very similar. There's Panthera, Tiger, and Red. And they're very, very much alike. And apparently, the game didn't tell me about this hunt. But this is happening. There you go. From another angle. Yum, 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 yum. It's like a string of spaghetti to it, I suppose. And the final one is about to bite the dust. Uh, well, give it, give it a second. Uh, it's almost there. There we go. Ah! <laughs> well, we've almost got the entire Atrociraptor squad here. We may as well the final one. That being red. Uh, I think, yeah, it's definitely darker. The, the only thing is with the this sort of Atrociraptor squad is that... They, there was just no law, or at least, you know, in the movie, it was just like, oh, by the way, these are the Atrociraptors. And then it was like, and the Mercury Dice and games and everything was like, oh yeah, they've got names. Even though none of them was apparently had names, you know, in the movie. But hey-ho, now they do. And they're all here for you to enjoy. Not that that takes away from them in game. I mean, they look gorgeous. And to have something that's a little bit different and maybe doesn't have a weird fin on its head like Deinonychus does is quite nice. So how about we try something just a little bit bigger than a Comsoc Nathus? Well, we're not, you know, I said a little bit bigger. I didn't mean that much bigger. Poor homalocephaly in the game has the most horrendous ways to die. And it'll be interesting to see how this thing dies to an Atrociraptor. Okay, this should be interesting. Here it goes. Oh, oh it's killed exactly like the goat. Goes for the jugular or the back of the neck and kills it. And Ghost is going to make the kill on the final homalocephaly. Oh, bless it. No. <laughs> Oh, well, at least it was over quick, you know. It could have been worse. Now, one thing that definitely can't, I think, die the same way that uh, the uh, Haumalocephaly dies is Lystrosaurus because it's, you know, it's a quadruped. You can't kind of make it the same. So I'm also expecting, I mean, if, I, I'm assuming there's no animation for this thing to kill the Trosoraptor. Let's be honest, but you never know. All right, I'm very interested to see how this one goes. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> It was kind of broken by running into the hatchery. You can see how that looked. We'll definitely do that one again. Because that one, wow, okay. Do you have to hunt these guys in the shadows? No. Well, it's a good job I made another one. There he goes. Off to die by something else. Oh, oh God, never mind. It is being hunted by another one. We'll get to see this a little bit more clear, I'm assuming. And oh, stops it. Oh, no, bless it. This is always like... Oh, no! <laughs> it just dies. All right. Releasing a slightly bigger prey than what they faced before. But one just as harmless, I guess. Because they they can't fight back. Even though they definitely have legs that could kill them. Uh, Gallimimus fall into that Struthiumimid sort of arena where they just sort of run around and act as sandwiches. I mean, if you look at the size difference, like, Gallimimus are so much bigger. Okay, Gallo Gallio 1. I don't know which one it is. Oh! Take it down and put through the fence. <laughs> Gotta see it again here with red, I think it is. Or that might be tiger. Jumps, pulls down the Gallimimus, kills it basically. And let's go even bigger with the biggest of the Hadrosaurs in the game, Alora Titan. Was this a DLC? I have a feeling this was DLC. I think, was it with the Albertosaurus or something? Or am I thinking of Jurassic World Evolution? first one. Might be. Anyway, they're about to die either way. Oh, yes. This is going to be awesome. They're actually not attacking it separately. They're attacking it all as a pack. Right, here we go. Which one are they going to choose? Oh, they're going to separate. Apparently, they've worked on the pack, uh, pack mentality or the pack uh, hunting. Well, they seem to be doing what uh, predators normally do when it comes to this, and just all piling on, and then the thing stops. <laughs> maybe the, maybe the Alorotine will run away? Nope, nope, it just continuously gets taken over and over. Um, I'm assuming there's gonna be no damage to these Atrociraptors, bless them. Or should I say, bless the Alorotine, like, what do I even do? <laughs> oh, although saying that though, uh, are they still attacking it? It looks like they've stopped, even. Yeah, they've done some damage to it and they haven't killed it. They've just weakened it. Ooh. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> what? How, how did I miss that one? How'd the other one die? What? And as valiantly as it sort of fended them off, I think it's about to die now. Whoa, oh, gee! <laughs> this is like Spider-Man to its head. Oh, wow, that was amazing. <laughs> yes, that is surely an update. 
Okay, here it looks like they attack. And it's kind of very similar to the lower time. Oh. For some reason, maybe if it's a... Oh, <laughs> the ragdolls are brilliant. Maybe if it's a one-on-one, -on -one, they have an animation. Didn't Iguanodon used to kick something? Maybe if it's a pack, though, it does this. <laughs> oh, no, well, it kind of did a kick just before its uh, life gave out there. And, you know, we need to test out this. We'll probably make a video, if I haven't already put it up, covering Raptor Squad versus Atrociraptor Squad. But I haven't done that just yet in this in this reality, in this timeline. Oh, no, you see behind the scenes. But let's see how, well, Velociraptor does. All right, let's see how this goes. Blue versus Tiger. Now, Tiger, I already see the Trust Raptors at this point, should win this battle with ease because they've already hunted things. Um, I don't know about their attack stats and everything. Oh, okay. Okay, a little jump. That That's usual for uh, carnivores attacking each other. Oh, that, yeah, that's damaging. Okay. Is Blue even going to get one off or is it... Oh, another one. Oh, he's oh, oh, also going a bit pale. Oh! Oh, did Blue... Blue just won that exchange. What? And ironically, after I've been making the comparison between um, Blue and Ghost, uh, it seems like Ghost is going to be the one to take out Blue. Now, there is one thing I do want to check out, and that is how these guys can handle an Indominus Rex, because normally raptors communicate with Indominus Rex and actually get on. So uh, the fact that this Indominus Rex they might not be able to communicate with, It'll be very interesting. All right, here we go. We've got a fight between the two, and there it is. Jump. I mean, there's not too much room for them to really hunt down any prey here, so I'm not expecting... <laughs> I love how they just run off. Oh, I didn't even stick the landing. Double tracks is gone. Who? Yeah, so this, this seems to be pretty much the same. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. Oh, he has not enough. Jumps back on. <laughs> and now let's see what a full release of a Tross Raptor looks like. Completely randomized colors as well. Oh, we got another ghost. That was good. I think we got two extra ghosts now. Really not sure. I did just make one. But as you can see, the colorings just for the regular Tross Raptors look almost as good as the uh as the like tiger red and ghost and that that like this one looks so good and now there's only one thing left to do and that's to see these guys hunt some human beings and the first one out is tiger look at you go making a beeline for some people right there wow i got a feeling it's oh oh who are they making a beeline for oh god it could be any one of these people oh 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 wow that's so cool <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, wow. Oh, that is awesome. Wow. Okay, that is full, full breaking. It's like people now know to do this to raptors. However, it doesn't work against Tiger. Oh, that was a badass walk off as well. That was awesome. Here we go. Another one trying to do the Chris Pratt. No, 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 no. And of course, it doesn't end the same way as it did for him. Oh, never mind. It's this guy. Oh, okay. Oh, I love it. This looks so awesome. Oh, oh okay. Well, no, 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 no. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh, the pull of the head. What a way to go. It would be great if they could somehow manage to hunt a human together. You know, that would be great if it's just a solo one-on-one -on -one against a human, but to, you know, surround them and maybe attack them from the side or, or something. That would be good for the raptors, but... Trust Raptors, you could definitely do so much more with it, too. Oh, wow, the irony of wearing Save the Dinos as a t-shirt. <laughs> and then dying like that. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, this one could be a long one. Yeah, he knows. He's like, oh, God. I should, you know, not full out sprint. Just a little bit sprint. Oh, never mind. It went behind him. Oh, never mind. There he goes. <laughs> Oh, you got this one as well. Oh, this could be cool. Oh, I love that. I love that. Ooh, it's like it sort of sees the hand and goes, oh, God. 
but then you put down the hand and that's when it decides no that's actually kind of sniffs at you and then it decides if it wants to kill you so that pretty much wraps up the atrociraptor showcase let me know if there's any animations that i have missed because i'm sure there are there might be some with like demorphodons and stuff like that but anyway guys if you enjoyed this video leave a like and until next time i'll see you cuties later oh bye bye